My farmers, sharecroppers. You know what sharecroppers were? Mm -hmm. Explain to me what sharecroppers were. I don't know what sharecroppers were. Okay, sharecroppers <laughs> were, they owned this land. Been in their family for generations. And they owned this land, and they leased this land to Stanglins, or to Denny Camps, or, or booze. They didn't come into Gary to drink up their check at the end of the month at the VFW just a block away. And they lived up five miles down in the hollow over here. Just just as you leave town and you go down the hill and it's just in the trees, just down at the bottom there. They had a little tiny house, a little acre, a couple acres of land. Shut that off. And they had a little house and they had some hogs. And they had some chickens. And they had a couple cows, a oh. horse or two. And they had no windows on their house. And the birds, the chickens would just roost on the windowsill. And the cows and the, the hogs would just walk in and out the door with them. They're dirty old men. Bib overalls. Ron was talking tonight about Eric Copen. Mm -hmm. Remember Eric Copen? Yeah. Bib overalls. An old farm all hat, chewing tobacco, good, yeah, chewing tobacco, and they're, they're going char, and it was kind of dripped down his chest and his bibs. <laughs> kind of dirty old guys. They come to town once a month to cash the check they got from collecting all this money off of this land Oops, from being farmed. Well, this was after the Depression, and you didn't believe in banks. Back in the Depression, you put your money in the bank, and then the Great Depression hit, and your money is gone. So when they get this money, they kept it at their house. What do you think they did with it back in the day? Probably open the floorboard. Down here, you probably open the floorboard in the bedroom. And you put the money down in there and here. Put the floorboard back, and that's where you kept all your money. So once a month they come to town and they go in and they just get a little coffee grounds and a couple of loaves of bread. And they'd get whatever the supplies might be, and they'd go back out five miles out of town down the hollow. And they just stay down there. Kept socking all this money away, like I said. Now you pry the floorboard open in the bedroom and they pull it away. Just keep putting that money down there put it back. Well, after all these years, they just kept all this money. That's what we thought. Had all this money socked away. You got a question? No. Okay. I can see. Well, one night, George and John were in bed, and there was a hog run, run through and lay down. And he did the squeal earlier, but chickens were just up to roost, out in the chicken coop in the yard. Horses were out in the yard. The horses don't sleep laying down, so they're sleeping standing up, right? and a fire broke out in the house. This fire just crept along. It's too hot, I can't touch it, but the fire started. This fire started in the corners of the house. The flames slicked up across the floor. They licked right up along one of the walls. It started going across the ceiling. These flames just licked, licked across the ceiling. And that house filled with smoke. Pretty soon the smoke was overtaking the house just everywhere. The flames were roaring. And John woke up and he said, George, there's a fire in the house. Get out of the house. There's a fire! The house is on fire! Oh. And John said, George, we gotta get out of the house! There's a fire! Get your come on, George! There's a fire! Let's go! Get out of the house! <laughs> and they Ruth ran through the flames. And our flames are kind of small right now, but they ran through the flames. <laughs> they got out of the house. George. Just as the and just as the flames came across the threshold of the house and were licking down. 
before. So he got out safely. <gasps> Something. Something. Beckoned George back in the house. Now, what do you think that could have been that Beckham ran back in the house? Maybe the money. Well, oh, could have been. No, there was no animals inside because the animals were the first ones that got out. So it could have been all that money that they hoarded away underneath that floorboard. She's there. Something back in, something pulled. John back in the house. George stood outside. John stood outside. It was George that went in the house. I'm so John went in the house. George went in the house. George went in the house. Anyway. <laughs> it's so confusing. You got in the house. You ran through the flames and John stood outside. George! George! Don't go in the house! The fire! And he tried to get him, and he tried to reach him as he going in the house. He tried to pull him as he went through the house. Don't go in the house, there's a fire! <laughs> and the flames were everywhere. John! John, George! They screamed at each other. And he went in that house. Something, some force of nature pulled him inside that house. What do you think is the money? You never know what it'll be because you never found it. Because the house burned. And John burned up in the house. Where's George? And the rafters came crashing down as the flames engulfed the house. And he screamed. George! George! And the whole house was engulfed in flames. And then the ambulance came. They didn't have cars. There was cars. Oh, this was in the 50s. Okay. This is when Grandma Judy was a kid. <laughs> and there's a story. Do you remember Auntie Sis? No. Auntie Sis, she's here. Oh, she is? She was out having fun with her friends, driving around the country, sipping a little hoochie pop. You know what I mean? <laughs> driving the cars. She was out having fun, and she saw the flames in the distance, and she heard this, charge! And she <laughs> drove down the road, and what do you know what she smelt? She smelt the burning flesh of that wolf brother burning up in that house. She smelt the smell of burning flesh. <laughs> they had the fire department come out. <laughs> Or was it <laughs> one of those sounds? <laughs> the law enforcement came out. And they hosed down the fire just as we saw it tonight, this afternoon at the fireworks deal, we call it the water bites. Hosed that fire down and they put the fire out. And there was one brother left standing alone. The fire inspector, the fire marshal came and they went through the house, they went through the fire. They found the body of George. Found the body of George. John. George. One of the brothers. George John and <laughs> brother. But they never found his head. They found the body, charred ashes of that wolf brother. They did not find his head. So something back in that brother back into the house. We'll never know what it was, Drake. Luke. I'm Luke. I can't see because it's a dim firelight. <laughs> They'll never know what it was that pulled him back into that fire. Nope. But now if you drive out there, and I was out there years ago, 30 years ago, on a cold wintry night, yeah. and the wind was whistling. We Not will winter. go. Well, Jerry's, Grandpa's sleeping. Grandpa's he knows the way. We were there. And on that cold, blistery, wintry night, you will hear the sound in the wind, in the trees, howling.
Through the wind. Oh! You still hear it faintly. Stay close to the fire light. The ghosts, the ghosts of the Wolf Brothers will come out. Oh my words, what are what? From the shadows. There's no camper back there. There's no camper back there. Yeah, there is. The wolf brother. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's the story. Hey, wolf brother, are you guys made it? Of the wolf brothers. Did you see the pictures that? Uh, I did see those. Darkest here turned around and showed everybody here. I yes. did see those. Their grave site. Their gra the grave site. The grave site. At the cemetery. Yeah. Caden and his mother went to the. Cemetery and found a George and John Wolf. And I argued with you. Earlier. And you argued, and I told you to shut your mouth. You and you were right. And I'm always but, right. But you know I'm there's a ghost. Right. That's a lie. Ghosts? You're they're they're all over. Over. Well, all over Well, they Gary. come through Gary. They never know where they're going to come. They might and they the could come Red through. Coast. Well, it's the fire that calls on their the that's fire. why we the keep the fire, fire roaring. Because <laughs> fire gets like if it gets too dark and too dim, the spirits of George and, John, George and John come out. Chris, I need some help. We again. need to put some more wood on there because when George, it gets you gotta keep George, the fire stoked. Come eat us. That's when the magic happens and the ghosts oh, that. really of the Wolf Brothers really come out like, really and, and become active. <laughs> so um, the ghosts of the dearly kids. departed. What happened to the kids? George Wolf. Right. Right. What here. happened to the kids? There's a few kids missing. Well, we I know the Stanglin girls are in the oh, house oh. because they're too scared to listen to the story. Well, no, they're gonna sleep. They're gonna sleep. Are you gonna sleep, Logan? I hope no. you do. <laughs> Jen and I have a ghost but story, don't you we? Have Jen? To sleep sleep with is a real one. Sleep is for the weak. A real ghost story. A real, real ghost story. This is a no joking. Aaron.